through three games, all the Capitals were getting out of their third defensive pair was penalties and goals for the opposition. On Wednesday, they got a lot more with the insertion of Christian Jews. After an open competition in training camp, head coach Barry Trotz elected to start the season with a third pair composed of Aaron Ness and Taylor Corney. The results were not encouraging forcing Trotz to make one tweak to the lineup for Wednesday's game. He inserted rookie Christian Jews. In his NHL debut, Jews would go on to score the Capitals' first goal and assist on the second. His play certainly seemed to catch the notice of his teammates. Obviously, it's his first game and it's fun to see him out there, Nicholas Backstrom said. He's so skilled with the puck. He's got a high hockey IQ so it was nice to see him. It's obviously a tough team to step into for your first game, Brooks Orpik said. I think you can just watch his composure with the puck, he's really calm with the puck, he doesn't panic. Related Braden Holt be not happy with NONCALL on Crosby hit trots was also effusive in his praise even as he tried to tamp down the expectations. We know that he's a good hockey player, Trotz said. He's going to have to continue to get stronger and continue to play at this level. You can see the instincts are really good, he's got a real good sense for the game. His IQ's really good, but it's a process. It's one game and well be patient for sure. But his first game was real good, Trotz's confidence in the rookie was evident in the third period. Heading into the final frame, Jews had played only 659. That total almost doubled in the third with eight shifts for another 620, bringing his total up to 1320. Ness, by comparison, played 94 seconds in the second period and finished with only 821 of ice time. When asked about Jews' playing time, Trot said, we were chasing a little bit. When they're trying to get matchups I think the first game Todd Reardon was probably avoiding maybe a Sidney Crosby, Yevgeny Malkin matchup for him his first game. As the game went on and we started chasing it, you've got to sort of say what the heck we've got to get some goals here and that's what he does. He can jump in the plays. As impressive as he was offensively, Jews still needs work defensively. One game does not erase the fact that he is undersized at 6 foot, 169 pounds, nor does it suddenly turn him into a shutdown defenseman. Let's not forget, all of his highlights on Wednesday came while he was on the ice on the attack, not from back in his own zone. But this game was still a step in the right direction for the Caps. Said Trotz, all I know is that when Jews was on the ice we seemed to have the puck a little bit more. More Capitals DJOOS debut spoiled in 32 lost to Penguins what Washington Capitals at New Jersey Devils were Prudential Center, Newark, New Jersey. 1700 p.m. ET. Coverage starts at 600 p.m. ET with Capitals face-off. How to watch Capitals at Devils will be broadcast on NBC Sports Washington. Channel Finder live stream you can watch the Capitals at Devils game on NBC Sports Washington's live stream page. When is the C-A-P-I-T-A-L-S-D-E-V-I-L-S game the Capitals 211 take on the Devils 300 Friday October 13th at 7.00 p.m. E.T. at Prudential Center. What channel? Is the C-A-P-I-T-A-L-S-D-E-V-I-L-S game on the Capitals Devils game will be broadcast on NBC Sports Washington. Capitals face-off gets things started at 6.00 p.m. E.T. followed by Caps game time at 6.30 p.m. Stay with NBC Sports Washington following the game for Caps Extra followed by Caps Overtime and Caps in 30 for all your post-game coverage. NBC Sports Washington Channel Finder Where can I stream the C-A-P-I-T-A-L-S-D-E-V-I-L-S game The Capitals Devils game, as well as the pre- and post-game shows, is available to stream live here through NBC Sports Washington's live stream page and is available to authenticated NBC Sports Washington subscribers on desktops, tablets, mobile devices and connected TVs anywhere in the United States. What are the lines for the C-A-P-I-T-A-L-S-D-E-V-I-L-S game? Here are the projected lines based on practice forwards Ander Burakovsky, Nicholas Backstrom, TJ Oshie, Alex Ovechkin, Evgeny Kuznetsov, Jakub Vran, Abrit, Connolly, Lars Eller, Tom Wilson, Devante Smith, Pelle, J. Beagle, Alex Chason, Defense, Mitri Orlov, Matt Niskanen, and Brooks Orpik, John Carlson, Christian Jews, Aaron Neskolis, Brayden Holt, B starts with Philip Grubauer as backup, Scratch, S. Tyler Grovac, Nathan Walker, Taylor Corny, C-A-P-I-T-A-L-S-D, EVILS Open Thread Use the comment section below to discuss the game action with other Capitals fans. For all the latest Caps coverage, follow Capitals insider Tariq El Bashir, Capitals correspondent JJ Regan, and the NBC Sports Capitals account on Twitter. Be sure to check out our Capitals page and NBC Sports Washington's Facebook page. Christian Jews made a very successful debut with the Capitals against the Pittsburgh Penguins.
Have the Caps finally found a player they can rely on for the third pair also? Tom Wilson's four-game suspension is up. What can fans expect in his return? J.J. Regan and Derek Elbashir discuss, plus they give their take on Sidney Crosby's hit on Braden Holtby. Dirty or not related, Wilson is ready to prove he's more than just a goon like what you hear. Be sure to subscribe on Apple Podcasts and wherever podcasts are available. Have a question you want answered on the podcast? Send us your questions to capitalspaceoff at gmail.com. Maybe we'll even read it on the air.